What's up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel, it's Kohar here and I am so excited to tell you that today's video is going to be very short and sweet but also very important because I'm going to show you how to draw a clean line art using Procreate and I'm also going to give you some tips to make it more smooth, easy on the eyes and add some depth and dimension into it. But before we get started like usual, if you like me or if you like this content, please mash that like button right now and if you want to see me and this channel grow do not hesitate to subscribe and then turn on the ring notification so you won't miss my next video so as usual my media is the ipad pro 11 inch and then the stylus is the apple pencil second generations the app is procreate and i usually use two type of brush in procreate to draw my line art which is a technical pen and the procreate pencil so i'm gonna mix both of them to create a really clean nice smooth line art so without further ado let's get started so first thing first i usually add more sensitivity on my pressure so it's easy for me to create the difference between fake lines and a um, thin line and also because procreate has the feature so how to add more pressure on your i mean how to change the sensitivity level is you just go to this icon here the setting and then you choose preference and then you're gonna change i mean you're gonna choose the edit pressure curve the normal one the normal one is like this and then you just gonna slightly move that curve up like this and then yeah around like that because if you go down like this it's actually reduce the sensitivity so you're just gonna go up then a normal one and so you can easily make the difference between the thin lines and thick lines and then the next step is make sure you have a sketch to draw and for me i already have my sketch here and then you're just gonna add new layer on top of it and then you rename it as art and then you want to change the opacity of this sketch layer by pressing this one and then you just slide down the opacity level and there there you go and then you just move to the line art layer here and then the brush that I'm using like at, um, like I mentioned before it's the technical pen and then the procreate pencil the technical pen it's more like for a uh, the lines except the hair so I usually use the technical pen for everything except the hair just because the, the procreate pencil has more fluidity of the movement so it's easy and it looks better when I draw the hair using the, um, the pencil so technical pen for everything else except the hair so let's start tracing our um, sketch here Oh, I forgot to mention about the um, the streamline or the correction. So usually if you make a, a line like this and it's very wobbly, you can change the setting of your brush by going to your brush and then choose the brush that you're using. And then you just move the streamline 
around 90% so you're gonna make more smoother than 10% it's kind of be very wobbly so move the streamline to 90% you to create more um, smoother lines. So everything that is overlap is usually um, create this thickness like this one here, 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 and usually the the lines that is closer to the camera is more thicker than the lines that is further than the camera. So I'm gonna start adding the depth. This is like learning by doing. It. Like um, the more you do it, the more you apply this technique, the more easy. Um, it became for you like i said drawing is about patience so keep practicing and an easy tip is usually the thicker stroke is for the clothes and for the skin um, i usually use a very nice thin line i don't know why but it just makes sense for me so everything else is done now we're gonna draw the hair and i changed the brush into procreate pencil already and let's start Actually, this is just a personal choice. You can actually either use the Procreate pencil for all your line arts or the technical pen for everything else. It's just, I don't know why I like to draw the hair with the technical, I mean, with the Procreate pencil and then the rest of the line using the technical pen. So it's all depend on your style. the hair and uh, we just need to add some more depth like usual and then clean up the overlapping stroke yeah we're pretty much done we um, I'm just gonna show you how to smoothen the lines first thing first this is the sketch you just hide it and then on the line art um, layer you gotta duplicate them and then choose as the reference With the selection tool you choose automatic and then choose the outline the outside of the drawing this and then you gotta choose invert so the selection is only gonna be on your drawing like this and then here underneath the original line art and then you gotta choose the effect the effect button here and then you choose Gaussian blur choose 
there. And we want to move this slider to around 1.9 or 1.8. This. So as you can see, the line become um, smoother. So let me show you again. If the Gaussian blur is 0%, it's like this. And then if you slide it to 1.8 or 9, very smooth line art I don't know if you can see the difference on the screen but I'm gonna show you side to side but if you zoom in here this is the one with the blur and this is the normal one so this is without the blur and if we add the blur it's gonna look like this you can see on the sides of every strokes it adds more softness and then it didn't go outside the drawing because we made the selection and then if it's too strong you can always adjust the opacity make it around 70 percent and the original one you make it around 85. Now you have it, a very, very smooth line art with the magic Gaussian blur. And remember, it's not easy to create the clean line art, but all you need to do is just keep practicing, practicing, and practicing. One an, um, another tip for me as well when you make a stroke, make sure it's like a long stroke, like a nice long stroke, not just like a you know, not just like a short one like this because it just doesn't look as good as nice clean stroke. That's it for today. I'm gonna show you the final line art with the blur and without the blur. So there you go. So that's it for today guys i really do hope that you learned something from today's video and if you guys want to check out my art i usually post it on instagram um, twitter and tiktok so click follow like comment and share and i just wanted to remind you that keep draw something that you really enjoy and from that keep practicing again and again because knowledge is a power we learn something new every day even for me so stay positive stay safe and i'll see you on the next one bye